I'm going to solve how to do some half-life problems. Number one, radon has a half-life of 0.38 days. After 7.6 days, 6 grams remain. What's the mass of the original sample? So when we go from 0 days to uh, 3.8 days, it's going to have once. And then in another 3.8 days, so we're going to add 3.8 plus 3.8, and we're going to get 7.6. It's going to half again. So between here, it's going to half, um, it's going to do, it's going to have once. And between here, it's going to have twice. So it's going to have two times. We don't count this as one, two, and we do not count this, sorry, as one, two, and three. That is not the correct way, so this is wrong. Instead, we count the jumps between um, how many times it halved. And so we know it halved twice. And so we started out with six, or so we ended with six grams. And we know that it halved in, from what? Well, it halved from 12. And 12 halved from 24. So it halved once here, and it halved twice here, or technically it halved once going from 24 to 12, and then twice going from 12 to 6. And so by working backwards, we can figure out that the mass of the original sample was 24 grams. And so that's how you do these. You do these by kind of working backwards and sketching it out. There is not a formula that you need to use for these problems. Let's go on to number two. The half-life of cesium-137 is 30.2 years. If the initial mass of the sample is 100 grams, how much will remain after 128 years? So we're starting out with 100 grams. And it says it's going to have to 50 in 30.2 years. All right, so it's going to have again uh, to 25 in another 30.2 years. So that's a total of 60.4 years. And then it's going to have again to 12.5 in another 30.2 years. Now, notice we don't double the 60.4. We're going to add another 30.2. And so after 90.6 years, we're going to end up with 12.5. And then it, we're going to half it again. And we're going to add again another 30.2. And we're going to end up with 120.8 years. So the question asks, how much will remain in 120.8 years? And we have figured out that it's 6.5. Number three, carbon-14 has a half-life of 57, 30 years. Consider a sample of fossilized wool that, when alive, would have contained 96 grams of carbon-14. It now contains 3,000 grams. How old is the sample? So let's see. We started out with 96 kilograms. And let's just go ahead and have it till we get to 3,000 grams. So half of 96 is 48. Half of 48 is 24. And then 12. And then 6 and then three, and three kilograms, if you know your metric, is equivalent to 3,000 grams. So let's see how many times it had to half. So it halved once, twice, three, four, and five. So it halved five times. So the problem told us that it takes this number of years between halves, and it halves five times. So we can just do this um, multiplication problem. And our answer is 28,650 years. 
Number four. A 48 gram sample of germanium. Uh, 66 is left undisturbed for 10 hours. At the end of the period, three grams remain. What's the half-life? So let's just start by sketching this out. So 48 grams goes to 24 grams, which can go to 12. Every time we have it, we're going to half it again to 6, and then to 3. And it tells us in the problem, three grams remain. And it said it took 10 hours, so it halved once twice, three, four times in 10 hours. So there's our 10 divided by four. And we can actually, let me get rid of this hours for right now, I, just, as, just so I can do the problem. Because we're gonna add a zero here. So 10.1 zero, and our zero drops down, four goes into 25 times, and so since we started with hours here, we come out with hours, so our answer is 2.5 hours. Number five, with a half-life of 28.8 years, how long will it take one gram of strontium-90 to, to decay to 250 milligrams? So first let's change to milligrams. So one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. That's something that you should know if you are rusty. Go back and review your metric conversions. So it's going to decay to 500 milligrams and again to 250. And that's what the question asks. It says to 250. So it halved twice. And it says it takes 28.8 years to halve. And it did it twice. And so we can go ahead and do this math here. And since we have one decimal in the problem, we have one decimal in the answer, 57.6 years is our answer. Number six. Uranium-235 has a half-life of 700 million years. 600 kilograms is stored as a spent fuel rod at a nuclear power plant. How many billion years will it take to decay to 7.5 kilograms? So we're going to start out with 600 kilograms. Let's go ahead and half it to 300 and then to 150 and to 75. And our question says how long to 75? So this is once, twice, so it's going to half three times, and it tells us that it takes 700 million years, which is 700 times 10 to the 6, so you should memorize that a million is 10 to the 6, and that's three times, so it is 2100 times 10 to the 6, and um, to change it to, uh, let's put it into billions, and we know that billions is 10 to the ninth. So, um, well, you should know that. If you don't, go back and memorize um, those metric um, prefixes. A billion is 10 to the ninth, which is also um, uh, a giga. So let's go ahead and move this to 10 to the ninth, since we know that's a billion. Here's our decimal. We're gonna move it once to three times. And then because we move it this way, we're going to add 3 to the exponent. So our answer is 2.1 times 10 to the 9th. And 10 to the 9th is billion. And it asks for how many billion. And so this is our answer for number 6.